Hi, I'm Jenny Rushmore of Cashmeret, and today I'm going to show you how to sew a buttonhole. Okay, so when you are sewing a buttonhole, you need to first learn how your machine sews buttonholes. And there are actually a great variety of different ways that a, a machine can do that. So definitely get out your manual. I'm gonna be demonstrating on this Academy from Burnett. And this is actually a fairly typical um, buttonhole for a more of a like beginner basic machine, but there are possible, it is possible that yours will be a little bit different. So bear that in mind. So the first thing I'm gonna do is set it to the right settings over here. So I need to pick the buttonhole stitch. So here it's very clearly a picture of a buttonhole. So I'm gonna turn it to that. And then um, for the length of the stitch here, it's actually showing you a buttonhole again. So I turn it to buttonhole, but usually it's about half um, 0 0.5, so 0 0.5 millimeters. Then you also need to set the width. So on my machine, I wanna go all the way up to a six here. So normally I'm at two and a half. You can change it. I'm gonna use a six. One thing we're gonna show you in a second is that you wanna test on scraps first. So you can, you'll discover later if you don't like that, but we're gonna start with a six. Then you need to get your buttonhole foot. So this is a fairly classic buttonhole foot. It's going to attach to the presser foot on this bar here. The shorter bit with the hole faces towards you because that's where the needle goes through. So that section is almost like a normal presser foot. Then we have the back and we have this telescoping piece here. And for this, you actually put the physical button that you are gonna be using in the foot and you close it down so it's firm. And this is basically what helps this machine know the length of the foot, the length of the buttonhole that it needs to make. On some machines, you have another dial or you have a screen and it will show you, but this is the most common way that you will do it. So you take one of your buttons, you put it in there, you close it so that it's fully firm, and now you're gonna put it on the machine. So this bar here basically clicks in here. So what you do is you lower the presser foot onto it and you pick it up and it's now connected. So now the buttonhole foot is on, we need to pull down this little lever that's quite common on many sewing machines. So it's just at the back here and we pull it down like that and then you push it away. And that sort of indicates the beginning of doing a buttonhole. And what it actually does is it pulls it back. You'll see it in a minute what happens, but you want to pull it down and push it back. So anytime you do a buttonhole, you want to start by doing it on a scrap because machines can be notoriously finickety when it comes to buttonholes. So you want to first run it through, make sure it's threaded right, make sure the, the settings are at the right settings. And then if you do mess it up, it's not a big problem. So start with, start with a scrap. So here I've marked the length of my buttonhole and the beginning and the end. Now on my machine, I want to line up the needle with this end. And then what happens is the machine goes up, back, across and down. Now, occasionally some machines start at the other end. So again, another reason to test because you want to learn about that because it's going to affect where you put your markings on your fabric. So I want to put the end T here under the needle. So I have done that. And then now on this machine, it is as simple as putting my foot down and it's going to do everything for me. So everything that you see, I'm not touching anything, I just have my foot on the pedal. So once it reaches the end and it's gone across the end of the buttonhole a few times, lift it up, lift up the presser foot, and pull it off the machine. And there you go, a pretty good buttonhole, all things considered. So once the buttonhole is sewn on the machine, there's a few extra steps. So you need to snip the extra threads off on the front and the back. And then we need to open the buttonhole. So there's a couple of different ways to do this. Um, I have two favorite ways. I'm gonna show you those ways, but there are a number of different ways. The really big thing with the buttonhole is you want to cut in the middle of here, but not cut the threads. Because as soon as you cut the threads, that's it. 
it's over for your buttonhole. It's gonna fray, it's not gonna work. So we need to only be cutting directly in this gap here. I find the best way to do that is with a scalpel or X-Acto knife because you can get really, really accurately in there. The other thing that I recommend that you can use is a buttonhole chisel. So this is a specific sewing implement. Um, you can buy them in different widths. This one is um, 1.2 millimeters, which is what, half a, half a centimeter, sorry, half an inch wide. So it's made for half inch wide buttonholes, but you can use it for any width. So with the scalpel, this is how I do it. I start by looking at one end and I start at the end and pull back towards the center because that is the most um, controlled way to do it. And what you really want to avoid doing is skating through the ends, which is very, very easy to do, especially if you use scissors, which is commonly encouraged thing to do, but I don't recommend it. So you start at the end and pull towards the middle. And as you can see, I'm on a cutting mat. You mustn't do this onto anything else. And then turn around, start at the other end, and go in, and it's as simple as that. Now, if your fabric frays a lot, you can actually buy this special glue called Fray Check. And if you use that, what you do is you put the glue all around on the stitching, and it just reinforces any little bits and makes it less likely to fray. But honestly, most of the time I don't bother. If there are a few little fraying pieces here, they will come off over time and then they will go. If you want to use the buttonhole chisel, what you would do is you line it up with one end, go up and then press really hard. So I'm gonna do it at an angle so you can see what I'm doing. You would like press really hard, slice through, and then you would go along to the other end, press really hard and slice through. So that's how you use a buttonhole chisel. Again, you need to use it on a mat. And now you know how to sew a buttonhole and the sewing world is your oyster. If you want to learn more about how to sew with me, there are a couple of ways to do it. First of all, check out my book, Sewing the Curve, Learn how to sew clothes to boost your wardrobe and your confidence, where I take you through step by step all the different stages in how to sew. And there are six brand new cash mark patterns included for you to boost your wardrobe and create the clothing of your dreams. You can also head over to my website, go to cashmark.com forward slash learn to sew and everything you need to know about learning to sew and about what patterns you can use and what help we have for you is over there. So I hope you enjoy checking those out.